Hi guys and welcome back to another TWG unboxing video. Now this time I'm taking a look at some of the new Iron Jaws releases, notably the new Auric Brutes who have been uh, very kindly donated to me by Alchemist Workshops and I'm going to be uh, taking a look at the sprues, assembling the miniatures and giving you an overall summary and opinion on the miniatures. So let's kick things off by taking a look at the box itself. So here we have the Auric Brute box, and on the front here we have five of the assembled and painted miniatures. Now this set comes with uh, five Auric Brutes, and if I just flip this over onto the back, we can see some more examples of the painted and assembled miniatures. We also get an idea as to uh, some of the weapon options that are available, and also a, a kind of a very brief colour guide with the skin and also the yellow armour at the bottom here. So that's the box taken a look at, let's open this up and take a look at the contents inside. So first of all, we have the instruction booklet, and this is a full colour booklet, as we've uh, been seeing recently. I have to say, I'm a big fan of these uh, new kind of style booklets that they're doing. Um, all the diagrams are really easy to follow, uh, the components are all numbered, all the sections you need to glue in yellow, as you can see there. Uh, we've got all the different options here, just kind of listed for assembling it, and it, right at the back, on the back page, we have a, kind of a brief stat line and some special rules for using the Auric Brutes as well. So next we have the bases themselves, which is the standard 40mm uh, bases you can see here, and also three sprues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, zoom in and take a look at these sprues individually. So here we have the first sprue here, and we've got a range of different weapons available on the sprue, from these uh, kind of one-handed choppers to the two-handed ones over here. We've also got these kind of more like halberd-style weapons compared to these Act like two-handed axes as well. We've got dual head axes and lots of different weapon options on this sprue and also the other ones as well. We can also see some of the armor plates and as you can see we've got the shoulder pads here. And the great thing about these is that they're actually separate which makes life so much easier when you actually come to paint your miniatures as you can paint these separately and glue them on later on. We also have some of the more armor panels just over the top here that goes across the back section. Uh, we also have a few kind of ad uh, adornments on the armor as well, such as these sections here. And we've got one solitary uh, head over at the top here, and this uh, kind of snarling orc face down at the bottom. Now the next sprue that we have is a very much a similar kind of fare. So if I was bringing this in here, you can see we've got similar kind of weapons as before. We've got these uh, two-handed weapons uh, and also the one-handed choppers as well and all the armor sections. This brings us to the final sprue which features a slightly different range of components in the sense that it actually features the main bodies of the orcs and their heads as well. And you can see here that actually it's quite a nice, it's, it's a bit, looks a bit strange there, but this is actually the inside of the mouth. So if you actually don't glue on the head straight away, you can actually get inside the mouth really easily without pay, over painting all of your teeth. Now we've got a few more heads on this particular sprue as well. You can see some larger heads here for the, the boss there. We've also got this really nice little adornment on the sprue, this kind of uh, this severed head that's been held by its uh, top knot as well that you can place into one of your orc's hands. Now overall, the detailing on these components is really nice. The plastic is as we've come to expect, very nice and sturdy plastic. And I have to say, I really like this kind of aesthetic on these armor panels, very much beaten. You can see quite easily in this sprue here, this component here, uh, kind of beaten metal, very crudely put together. So now we've seen all of the individual components, uh, let's get one of these miniatures assembled. So here we have the assembled miniature. Now it's exceptionally easy to piece together as all the parts fit together really nicely. There was hardly any mold lines on that which had to be removed and also the instruction manual was very very clear as to which parts went where. Now unfortunately for these miniatures due to the nature of the way that the legs join to the bodies and also the shoulder joints there is very limited options in terms of variations and poses. You pretty much get a fixed amount that are available on the sprue. Now this isn't too bad, I suppose is that the miniatures come in are really nice, they're very kind of strong, uh, ferocious, very typical of the orcs, and really nice little details on the miniatures themselves, such as this particular orc, who has a peg leg instead of his right foot. Now another great thing is that the armour can actually be quite easily detached. Now in this case I've only glued it very slightly, which will make uh, removing it and painting underneath the armour a lot easier later on. So now that we've looked at the miniature, let's move on and get an overall summary for this kit. So that was the Auric Brutes, and I really have to say I'm a huge fan of these new miniatures that have been released for the Aurochs. I mean, a few people have said that they're basically just the Orc equivalent of Sigmarites, but I have to disagree. I really find the Sigmarites quite bland, to be honest, uh, but I really do like these Auric Brutes. They're just dripping in character. They've got big, chunky slabs of metal armor. It's very crude, it's brutal, but it's very effective. It's, it's just like the Orcs themselves. It really kind of sums up their whole kind of mantra. Um, I'd say even better, so they're better than the, if you look at the Black Orcs, their armour is relatively well built compared to these guys and it just really kind of sets them apart as really being very orky. Now these miniatures came from Alchemist Workshop as I mentioned at the beginning of the video and you really should check out those guys, I mean they have some fantastic savings on Games Workshop products. These particular guys cost uh, £30 I've looked at in the video, RRP. 
However, on their web store, you can pick them up for 23 pounds and 10 pence, which really is a fantastic saving. So check those out. I'll pop a link in the description, which will take you directly to their web store. And also stay tuned as I'll be taking a look at one of the, uh, the new Auric Shamans as well shortly. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.